Okay, in this video we will show you how to do a repair on a Samsung SyncMaster 204B with a power supply that's causing problems. This particular unit, when you try to power it up, all you get is a blinking power light. If you continuously repeat turning it on and off and on and off, um, after 10 to 15 tries of turning it on and off, you will eventually get a picture on the screen. Um, but it's beginning to take longer and longer, so the customer brought it in for us to do the repair on it. Um, so the first thing that we need to do, of course, is remove the power cord and the signal cable. Then we need to remove the stand. So we're going to lay it down, remove the two screws. And we'll just set the stand to the side for a moment. And you turn the monitor back over. To remove the plastics for the case, the easiest is if you start in the middle at the bottom and gently lift up and kind of tw um, twist it, then the little plastic catches will start releasing. And when you get to the corners, um, once you do one side, release the, the other side, and then if you take a small flat bladed screwdriver, put it between the two halves of the case and pop one corner will come up. Now once you get one corner up, the other corners will come up by just lifting and twisting the bezel. And then we have the front case off. Uh, what you need to do is turn the monitor over because you actually have to remove the back of the case first before you can remove the front of the case. the back of the case to the side. Uh, the reason that you have to do the back first is because of the control panel cable, small cable here in the corner. This is a squeeze to release connector so you need to kind of squeeze the back of it before you can unplug it. And now that we have that done, then you can remove the monitor panel from the front bezel. Set that to the side. The next thing we need to do so if you notice on the ends, there's two screws. You need to remove both of those screws from both ends. Be sure you're holding the um, monitor up because once it comes loose, the two pieces will separate. You need to make sure you're holding both pieces. And we'll gently remove the last screw here. set it back down flat and lift the back shielding. Okay, this is the power supply board that we're going to be working on and this one has very evident bulging on the five capacitors. That's the ones that we will be replacing. So we need to remove that board. another squeeze connector that goes on the power cable from the power supply board to the video controller board. So again, you squeeze and lift up that. And then you have the backlight plugs and they are again squeeze and release connectors on both of those. And then you can remove the power supply board. Um, again, like I say the capacitors are very evidently bulging on these five. So let's take it over to the uh, soldering station and replace those and see if we can get that monitor back going again. <laughs> 